Hello everyone, it's Loretta. On today's video, I'm going to show you how I made this adorable mini coffee cup. This is going to be sold in my upcoming craft fair of 2018. But from today, which is July the 16th, 2018, until July the 31st, 2018, if you order this die set or anything from the Stamp Doctor, you will receive 20% off your order. That is phenomenal. I have had this die set for a while, and I love it. In my original video, I used a template provided by Deb Valder. She's a stamping up young lady, and she has fabulous videos. I will link the original video that I shot down below, along with the video that she provides on her channel. So, Deb, your inspiration has been just wonderful. Thank you so much for posting the original video. So, LR Coffee, to get your discount, all uppercase um, alphabet letters there, folks, and... I will leave the information along with the website uh, URL down below in the description box. As usual, if you have questions, leave them in the comment section or send me an email. If you leave anything in the comment section, remember it's a public forum. That's all I'm going to say. All right. For today's project to make this adorable little guy right here, you are going to need some pattern and solid colored scrapbooking paper. Of course, the dies and some mini coffee cups. These mini coffee cups came from Oriental Trading. And there is the information for them. There's the item number, which is 13758312. Other dies that I'm using for this coffee cup are these... Um, bow dies this is different than the sample this one is from my favorite things um some circle punches and some scallop circle punches and of course you're going to need glue if you'd like uh to embellish it like this one you can get some small lace or trim for yours hot glue will also work for this project and another thing you'll really want to be using are these paper clips excuse me clothes pins and um, this is just going to hold things together while it sets up and dries it makes your life a whole bunch easier so let's get started first we're going to cover the coffee cup now i have cut this pattern paper which is from crazy for plaid that i picked up um when Hobby Lobby had their paper sale, is double-sided um, scrapbooking paper, and I also cut some coordinating solid color cardstock um, and more pattern paper so that I have plenty to choose from as I make this project. We are going to start with this piece first. Now, I'd like you to notice that this die has some directionality to it. This is the top of the die cut, and this is the bottom. It's got a curve so it can fit on this tapered cup. This cup is not a circle, it's more of a cylinder. It's very important to remember. Okay, to start this coffee cup, we're just gonna add a little glue right here at the seam. You don't need a whole lot, but it's actually better to start this and do it in very, very, very quickly, but do it in small sections so that you don't get any bubbles or that you don't get any creases in your paper. I'm just going to bring this all the way around to the other side. And right here on this edge is where I'm going to add the other dollop. I'm going to pull this as tight as I can. 
and use my clothespin to hold this together. And there's just enough of a lip on the bottom to put in the second clothespin. So we're going to let that sit up for just a second and decide uh, what we want to do for the sleeve of this coffee cup. I kind of like this teal, but I also like the light yellow and this really fun, 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 fun green. Wrap this around until the two meet. Adjust it as you need to and get this as tight as you can when you get to this point. These two seams do not mark meet perfectly. Nobody, and I do mean nobody, will notice it. So I'm going to just let that dry for a minute. And we're going to put this aside and take care of the top next. This is just for decoration. These would be more of a party favor type of thing. Circles. I like the uh, reverse pattern of this one. I'm just going to put a little bit of adhesive around the lip of this top and place that down. You could, you could use a much bigger scallop circle, obviously, than I have. I'm going to add a little bit of my adhesive to the top. I'm going to put some hot glue right here on this little tail. Give you guys another safety lecture about hot stuff. My hot glue gun is 400 degrees. I don't care if your hot glue gun's 100 degrees, you can still burn yourself, so please, for criminy's sake, use some reasonable caution and don't send me stupid emails. Alrighty then, so, I'm going to let this sit up for just a second, and I'm going to use this pair of tweezers, they're just flat tweezers, but tweezers nonetheless. And I'm going to hold this in my hands, I'm going to probably fast forward you through this part, but I'm just going to roll these petals downward. have this little rolled flower done. We're going to attach it to the top of the cup. I'm going to eyeball this for center and put a little dollop of glue right there. I've cut another piece of lace for this and you can use hot glue for this part if you'd like. There is a little goober that I just cut out so I'm going to start at the seam and this lace is actually um, has a right and a wrong side. That's the wrong side. And that's the right side, so you want that right side out. So if you wrap the lace, once again, use your clothespin. And you're going to want to apply the glue as you work your way around the cup. To get some on the little lip, just wipe that off. Once again, try to keep your hands in the area that's in contact with this little cup clean. This is a food safe project, so you don't have to worry about um, if you're going to put candy or something in here necessarily wrapping them. Um, if you do, that's entirely up to you. Okay, now that we have that together, we're going to let it sit for just a minute and put it out of our way and go ahead and make our bow. This particular die from My Favorite Things comes with two sizes of bows, one large and one small. Um, I'm going to use the smaller of the two. I'm just going to take my fingernail and uh, decide which side is going to be out, which side is going to be in. Once again, I'm going to use the plaid side out and the Flower side is going to be on the inside, so you're just going to get these fibers to relax for you a little bit. This also comes with two different sized tails. This particular tail, unfortunately the smaller of the two has gotten lost in my desk, so we're going to make do. You're going to want to put a little glue in the middle. Bring one side over and rest it into the glue. Add another drop if you need it. Bring the other one down and rest it in the glue. I'm going to put a little bit of glue right here in the middle as well as on the tie part. Now that our coffee cup is dry, we're going to decide where we want to put the bow. I think I'm going to put it right here on the front. 
be generous but not gloppy with your glue. You may even want this to sit on your desk for you know, 30 seconds to a minute to set up. And while you wait, you can go ahead and make sure the top is going to sit on. This would also be the time to personalize this if you wanted to. It'd be a great time to fill it with candy, obviously. Let's put my bow on. hold this in place for just another minute or so until it grabs very well and then you are finished thank you again to the stamp doctor for uh, giving us a code to save on their products of LR coffee all capital letters and all together from July the 16th 2018 until July 31st 2018 I hope that you guys will go shopping over at this wonderful site. I also hope that you will give these precious coffee cups a try for yourself. Here's the finished product. Thank you everyone for joining me. Please, if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified when I upload, all you have to do is hit that bell by the subscribe button. Visit my website, LorettaRoger.com, for detailed instructions, coupon codes, and much, much more. Take care, everyone. Bye for now.